there's a lot of confusion out there. Is it risk assessment? Is it not? I, I'm a believer that it is a form of risk assessment. We're trying to understand the risks that are presented to our operation, but not just from an operational standpoint. Is there health and safety risks in the event of failure? Is there environmental risks? And we want to understand all those different risks because I have yet to find a maintenance department that has all the resources they need to fully and have a fully developed maintenance strategy for every single asset. So what we should be doing is using asset criticality to prioritize what assets do we focus on first. So for example, when we're working with a client, it's what's your asset list to begin with. Then we're going to do a criticality analysis and the top five, 10, 20% of them, we're going to do FMEAs on those assets to figure out what the maintenance strategy is. That next 20% or 25% or whatever we decide it to be, we're going to do something like a PM optimization, take their existing PMs, run them through a PM approach, PM optimization approach. And then those bottom ones, unless it's regulatory, we're probably just going to leave them be because we're going to have our hands full with everything at the top end of that list. Um, but I think it's, I haven't seen a standard out there, but I think the challenge is, is what categories do we qu try to evaluate that risk in? And then to what scale do we try and categorize that risk into? I see a lot of organizations that have four buckets, A, B, C, and D. And the problem with that is you get a lot of arguments. Well, this A is more important than that A, or this B is more important than that B. And, you know, I did that early in my career. I realized it doesn't work that well for decision-making. So I'm a firm believer that you have to have a quantifiable number associated with the risk. The number itself doesn't mean anything. It just provides it in a rank order to the others. So you understand what are the most important ones.